other day, Faye asked me, she was like, hey, before I leave to the Netherlands next week, why don't we do one last shoot where we go out into a butterfly house and try and take some portraits. But the thing is, we're gonna be doing it on film. No autofocus, no nothing like that. So I don't know how this shoot's gonna go, but it's a shoot that I've been looking forward to doing for a while now. What sort of shots did you want to get today? Definitely some shots of me in the greenery and if we can get some butterflies in there, it would be great. Maybe a close-up shot if a butterfly lands on me. We've got some nice harsh sunlight, which usually I'd hate, but if you shoot on film and you get some uh, Cine Steel 400D, you can get some nice halation. So I'm going to use that to backlight Faye. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a butterfly to land on you, but we'll try. Just hold your finger up. The whole we didn't really think about this, but it's actually going to be quite hard to get a butterfly to land on Faye. So, do you reckon you could just land on the model? It'd just be better for the photo, because like, you know, I'm not the model. And you're a butterfly. And the whole point of this shoot is to get you to go on the model. <laughs> Look at that sweat. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I went to the gym and. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm talking about the gym. Yeah. There's like one on your neck about to do a rear naked choke. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Just come out for a sec because it was getting very hot in there but the shot that we wanted to get we haven't got it yet so what do you think i think we just need to take five <laughs> and then uh, go inside and do another round yeah we're just trying to search up how to actually get butterflies to attract to you and they say use like sugar water or you can even use like the leaves that they land on like rub it into your hands do you want to rub a leaf on your hand sure this is no i don't oh, think yeah. it's good leaf. not a good leaf no what are you looking for a leaf. <laughs> no, like what? Leave type me of leaf alone. This is a good leaf. Three, two, one. That shoot was straight up harder than I thought. Like, I definitely thought we we're going to go in there and be able to get heaps of butterflies to land on Faye. And I was going to get plenty of different shots of that, but that simply wasn't the case. We did manage to get a photo of a butterfly on Faye here, but it was it was like a broken butterfly. Like the wings were all, I think it was about to die or something. So yeah, <laughs> still managed to get that shot. So that's at least one shot with a butterfly. Then I just decided to get some photos of Faye, even though there weren't some butterflies there, just because the lighting was nice with that backlighting. But I think my favorite shot from the shoot has to be this one here, which is a silhouette of these two butterflies on this leaf. I just like the colors that came out of the camera. The nice green color of that leaf combined with the backlighting of the sun. Also trying to manual focus this was quite difficult as well. It's just a new challenge. Like when you go from shooting all digital to all film, like everything's fully manual. The next time I do this shoot, I'm probably gonna bring honey because apparently that's what butterflies are attracted to. So if you put that maybe on the model's face or somewhere where you want the butterfly to land. Also, I just wanted to let you know that I just released a texture overlay pack. Essentially, it makes your photos look a bit more grungy and have a bit more imperfections, a bit more like film. So if you want to get that, link in the description. But that's all for today's video. As always, don't think, just do.